I heard the devil call my name. Sleep. I heard the devil call my name. He said, Don boy, come on down. It's time I stake my claim. Well, I cried and I cried out loud. I regret what I have done. But the devil, he just laughed. He said, Don, you have. very much now the next song um, for a while back way back in the uh, in the 80s after I came back from Melbourne from playing you know being a musician full-time I had to go for a test to sit in the public service because when you applied for the dole then you had to do that and I remember I remember going for the test and I was um, very well because I was massively hung over and I had this terrible headache and uh, to my shock and amazement, a few weeks later, I got a letter saying, hey, Don, do you want to come and work in the tax office? <laughs> so I said, yeah, you know, and I never worked in an office before. I, I've never worked on um, building sites and factories and things. And anyway, got this job in the uh, tax office. And after about three years, I rose from rock bottom to one from rock bottom. 
And I used to answer your calls on how to fill out your tax pack, you know, and I hope, desperately hope that if you ever got the answer when you rang up, uh, hello, Australian tax office, this is Don, that you didn't take any notice of anything I told you. <laughs> but anyway, um, while I was there, I shared a cell with a bloke called John Kelly. And he used to come in every morning and tear a page off this enormously fat diary that he had. And he was, he was counting down to his retirement. Every day he'd pull a page off the, uh, the calendar, you know, and uh, say, you know, 500 to go or whatever. But I got out of there before he did and um, I wrote this song called John Kelly's Calendar. <laughs> Until his retirement day The office has a window I watch the girls go by I see the buses grinding on I catch a glimpse of blue sky I'm exactly the right volume. Okay, well that's right. I can go to that. Um, okay, where are we at? Yeah, oh yeah, I uh, haven't done this song for a while. It's a, every, every, every word of this song is true, actually. It was about, um, I was just talking about it with Matt Gregan, uh, living in St Kilda East in the 80s. And uh, yeah, the, and in those days, um, as well as having tons of musicians around the place, like... James Black, you know, the guy from Rock Quiz and Mondo Rock, he was just around the corner from us in St Kilda. 
Uh, JJ Hackett, the drummer, passed away a while back. Uh, around the corner, the bloke from the models, and then Stephen Cummings from sports. All really close by, and there was a whole lot of action. There were also a lot of drugs, too, and um, I remember that my music career at the time was going so well that I took a job delivering groceries for the local supermarket. And uh, this, um, the song is about something that happened while I was doing the, doing the deliveries. <laughs> more of uh, Don's voice in the fallback, please. You can ne never have too much of that, can you? That's right. Just redline it, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, it, it occurred to me um, the last time I was driving across the Hay Plains that um, Adelaide people, probably the only ones, or not the only ones, but we know more about the Hay Plains than most people in Australia because um, whenever we have to go to Sydney, you go across the Hay Plains. The people from Sydney never come down to Adelaide uh, unless you live in Hay or Deneliquin or something, you know. It's, um, and it's a long way. And the only way to cure the Hay Plain blues is to go across the Nullarbor a few times. It <laughs> makes the Hay Plain look like a short stroll down Heinley Street. That's right. 
But anyway, yeah, I did it quite a few times in the early days. And, and uh, just recently, as I was going past, I had to go back again. This song sort of seeped into its uh, into my mind, and here it is. I drove all the way to Sydney. In the middle of the night When I went through Penrith It started getting light In that narrow street in Newtown Outside that front door Finally got through to me I couldn't do this anymore So I turned around and drove Back from where I came Lighting with the sun On that wide empty plain with the hate plain blues Just drive on through Don't turn around Don't turn around That was years and years ago I tried not to think about it much There are a lot of good reasons all out of touch But I just got a call So I'm going back again This time I'm driving To farewell an old friend With a hate plane blues Just drive on As far as I'm aware, there's only two songs ever written in the history of mankind that mention Kensington Road. The, there's the one I'm gonna, we're going to sing for you uh, now, and then there was the one that was written by Paul Kelly a while back. And it struck me as I was uh, writing my uh, Kensington Road song that the parallels between me and Paul are incredibly um, close. We were born on the same day. Uh, he was born in Kensington Gardens. I was born in McGill, the next suburb. Uh, we both came from very really big Catholic families, but he, of course, had nine siblings and I only had seven. Um, we both went to Catholic colleges. He went to the most expensive, Ross Trevor, and I went to the cheapest down at Morris Brothers, <laughs> just down here on the corner. And I noticed that they've knocked down the, um, what do you call it, where the brothers used to live there? The, uh, the piggery. Yeah, the <laughs> And I just wonder what sort of horrors they dug up when they knocked the place down. But anyway, I went down there. Um, we, Kelly and I both moved to Melbourne about the same time. Um, he sold hundreds of thousands of records and I've sold hundreds. Um, 
In fact, the only thing I've got on, Paul, uh, is that I don't have to wear a hat when I play. <laughs> Both Barrack for Nord, too. We've done Nord supporters. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, you can't split us, really. <laughs> But he's not here playing at the Wee Chief Hotel on no. this beautiful Sunday long weekend afternoon. He, he keeps trying to get in here, but they won't have him. He's no, not good enough, that's right. traffic watch the jet planes come and go you can see the ships out on the bay from the end of Kensington Road well there must be people laughing little kids on their first days at school there must be The other night I was, no, a few years ago actually. Uh, I was sitting out on my back porch. I had um, had a cask of wine and some fish and chips. I was in luxury. It was cheap wine. And I can't say that I actually passed out, but I had a dream, ladies and gentlemen. I had a dream. I dreamt I went to Melbourne to kickstart my career I had to get away there was nothing happening here I'd made a new CD best one I'd done so far then it started getting played on three triple R so I'm walking down Brunswick Street feeling out of place a bearded hipster comes up to me staring at my face the man who said 
I love your new CD. I went into a guitar shop there. They wanted a selfie with me. And it was all just like a dream. So we had the album launch at the Corner Hotel. That place was packed with friends and faces I knew well. James Black from Rockwiz, Julia Zamira too. They're checking me out for episode number 592. Paul Kelly slips in and sits down in the back corner. Courtney Barnett, Jeff Lang and the A&R man from Warner. During the break, Kadinsky comes over to me. Donnie, he said, let's get some action up in Sydney. I'll organise a tour. Just leave it all up to me. And it was all just like a dream. was just a dream, just a dream. Cause now I'm in the front bar of the Federal Hotel with a few lonely drinkers, it's a scene I know well. They stare straight ahead as I see Pat Malone. For the together unconnected was a little too close to the bone. After the gig, the manager comes over to me. I know she's going to try and renegotiate the fee. I've done okay though, I sold a few CDs. Enough for some cheap wine tomorrow and fish and chips for tea. I'll get a cask of piss tomorrow and have fish and chips for tea. It was all just a dream. It was all just a dream. I had a dream. Just a dream. I had a dream. Just a dream. Thank you very much. Song about dreams there. <laughs> hey, we're going to do a song, one of the first ones I ever wrote, I reckon. Way back, it was on the Bodgy Sensational LP. Yeah, that's right, look, there's got a Bodgy's man there. They're everywhere. You look too young to be a Bodgy's fan. I think you're a fraud, mate. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, stuffed again. When we, when the Bodgies did it, we thought there was reggae was pretty big at the time, and um, when you listen to it now, you can't believe it was reggae. But uh, we try and do it a bit more reggae like now.
stupid as me then Then you'll always, always lose Yeah, hey, I'm stuffed, stuffed, stuffed again What happened to those letters that I send? I'm sinking low, 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 low Looking for a place to go Yes, I'm stuffed again do one we haven't done for ages it was a song um i remember it back in when i was talking about st kilda before uh, for a while there now but paul's here he knows all this story because there's a guy called paul over there a great bass player and we took the, fl the flat over from him that he lived in the second story flat in st kilda and you could see this big view down you know over the east of um, melbourne and in 1983, I was teaching the song to our guitar player, Kelvin, and the big dust storm came in, you know, the um, Black Wind Wednesday or whatever it was. And I can remember, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but it's just a memory I have of the song. And uh, so it's called... Um, another Place, that's right. <laughs> I, I got I got distracted by all the memories. <laughs> Proustian reverie. Oh, that's great, right? <laughs> Take a trip across the ocean or a shack by the sea.
don't think we bumped that one on the list. <laughs> anyway, the next song we're going to do is... Um, I get around... Uh, since I've been making guitars, I make these old uh, resonator guitars. I've been doing that for about 25 years now. And uh, the last you know, the last 10 years I've been making them, I call them rust buckets. And they're made from old sheets of corrugated iron that uh, I get from, you know, lots of old places. And uh, I get around in the... Uh, you know, the countryside, and you see all these old broken down, shack, you know, sh huts that used to be, you know, our family owned them and centre of lots of love and action and things, and they're just rotting away. And um, I went up to Broken Hill where my uh, mum uh, comes from Broken Hill, and my dad was working in the mines there, and that's where they met. And so I spent a fair bit of time as a kid at my grandparents' house in Broken Hill, and I went back there a while back, and it was completely empty and run down and falling over. And uh, I remember that my grandmother, who was only about four foot two, her name was Minnie, Minnie Maloney, and uh, she, uh, she was only small, but she ran a strict household, and my pop, Vincent Victory, the two best names ever, Minnie Maloney and Vince Victory, he wasn't allowed to drink inside the house, and he was only able to go to pub once or twice a week, you know. Anyway, we were playing cricket out in the backyard with my brothers and that. And the ball went up this dusty track into this shed, you know, at the back in their backyard. And right up the end, in this dark corner, there was old Pop having a beer. And he says, ah, don't you tell your grandmother I'm in here. I'm making her a surprise. Anyway, so anyway, years later, I went back to Broken Hill, as I said, and it was all run down. And I grabbed a sheet of tin from that shed. It's all nearly fallen over and I grabbed the sheet of tin and the neck's made out of um, some skirting boards that were fallen off and uh, a, a foundation stump that had fallen out. So this is my Broken Hill guitar and um, when you're poking around those places it's hard not to get a, you know, a song creeps into your mind. So this one's called One Day. <laughs> I'll be rusting, possums in the roof, pigeons in the kitchen, floorboards coming loose, the porch out the front has long since blown away, there was nothing there to shelter anyway. One day the old dog's grave will be erased by a tie, replaced by a fading outside old sheets of iron lying on the ground sheds and shelters falling down but once there was a garden with fruit on the vine there was a band on the veranda with dancing and wine once there was a wedding out on the back lawn once a little child was born I've been renovated I've been bought and sold I've been advertised as charming An investment one could hold A renovator's dream Then land value only Now, no one seems to own me But once there was a swing set Kites flying in the breeze there were little children climbing in the trees. I've seen a thousand goals kicked and many overs bowled. But now I'm just old. Since dead or gone One day I'll be leaning Wind howling through the door No one knows my story 
anymore. <laughs> We've got to do something newish, unrecorded. Oh, well, and speaking of recording, um, it's time to flog a bit of merch, ladies and gentlemen. I've got um, over there, I've got this one, it's not on any records, but it's uh, we've got the latest CD is called 40 by 40, which is a double disc 40 songs from 40 years of music. Woo. And uh, I've got that here, that's uh, $20. And I've also got my book, which I'll talk about later. It's called, um, it's the second edition of uh, This Could Be Big, 40 Years at the Dag End of the Australian Music Industry. <laughs> and uh, sold out the first one, so I rewrote it again. And, uh, handwritten. <laughs> he handwrites each copy, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's got perfect handwriting, looks like print. Anyway, why am I telling you all this? Because we've got to be doing some songs, yeah. Well, anyway, see me at half time if you want to buy a record. And, oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. With the 40 by 40 or the book, um, I've got a copy of the EP we reduced, we um, sold, uh, we released earlier uh, called Fly Away. So if you buy either of those two, you get a free copy of the uh, EP as well. So that's my special Sunday, Easter Sunday deal. <laughs> Still hours away So I drift off into that Other world The one where I start talking to my dream girl And I love it when you tell me All my jokes are very funny I love it when you say You don't care about my money I love it when you say You're never going away Except when we plan our big holiday And you say There's a cover band flogging away Playing all those old hits from yesterday I've heard it all before There's nothing new So I start dreaming Dreaming about you And nobody could hear anything that I say So I might as well start talking to you Anyway I love it when you dance I love it when you sing When it comes to you I love every damn thing I love it when you kiss me I love it when you say hey, You're a campaign so there's a lot of fact checking going on uh, and we're drowning in bullshit so here's some more Bob, Bob Dylan was born in Adelaide 
Well, if he was, this is what would have happened anyway. Bob Dylan was born in Adelaide in 1941. He went to Anley High School, but he never got along. Not exactly unpopular, just a little strange sometimes. He excelled in English and liked to talk in funny rhymes. Once he wrote a song, something about blowing in the wind. Then he went to teacher's college and didn't play much again. protest rally. They bought a brick veneer down near Happy Valley. Bob got a job teaching poetry to teenage Catholic boys. He was ideal for the job, immune to all the noise. Mary thought Bob's voice was awful and encouraged him not to sing. She said, Bob, take up photography. Music's not your thing. brother uh, Mary Lennon was born in Athens. Mary Mary Lennon's brother was born in Maylands. His name was John. He was a bitter twisted cynic and they never got along. He drunk himself to death working in the public service. Bob and Mary were alone at that funeral service till it was many time to go. Then three blokes showed up and introduced themselves as George, Paul and Ringo. teaching, Bob finally called time. The staff took up a collection and bought him some fine wine. Now the Dillons are grey nomads, off to see Australia. Bob threw his old guitar in the back of the camper trailer. And one night around the campfire, after a lot of rearranging, Bob calls, hey Mary, listen to this, it's all the times they are a shame. I should introduce Jake Morrison on the guitar, Eddie Morrison on the bass, Andy Przgonski on the drums. Ladies and gentlemen, the man of the hour, the man with the power, too sweet to be sour, prettier than a flower, the man with the largest arms, the most charms, who does the most harm, too hot to handle, too cold to hold. He lifts barbell plates, he eats steak, he's sweeter than a German chocolate cake, Mr. Don. I'm going to get that and print it out and then when we're trying to get gigs around the place, we'll send it off to, you know, this, a summary of my talents. Fantastic, Ed. Fantastic. Now I'll bring you back down to earth. Here's a... the, um, one of the first radio interviews I ever did uh, was when I went to, um, I was in Melbourne and uh, the 3RRR uh, three, three had a, um, a radio, Australian music radio show. And it was uh, run by a bloke called Greg Pickover, who shortly went on to become H.G. Nelson of Roy and H.G. And uh, Greg Pickover said, uh, when we got there, he said, are you from Adelaide, are you? I said, yeah, yeah, we're from Adelaide. And he said, oh, I used to live in Adelaide. It was like waiting for a bus that never came. <laughs> and so I remember that cruelly and uh, put it in a song when I got around to writing songs. And, uh, this is it. It's called uh, By and By. Sometimes it seems like forever that you're waiting, like waiting. 
waiting for a bus that will never come and life goes by Now you've confused me, you blokes. <laughs>
going to do uh, do another song and then we'll take a break, get a beer. Oh, I've still got some left. Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> Way to rub it in my face, do I? <laughs> back on in about 20 minutes uh, go and grab a beer grab a CD